What's up everybody, this is your boy AC and welcome back to LA Sports Live. Welcome back to the channel. Like I said yesterday, I'm going to keep my promise and making sure I do a live video every day. And so today I'm coming to you guys and talking about the one and only LA Dodgers. Like you see that, you guys see that thumbnail, you see the title, is Do I believe Dodgers are going to go 45 and 15. Of course, win the National League West and the World Series this year. This is the year. Uh... After the tremendous, tremendous letdown last year, after the previous uh, World Series, uh, uh, the pre two two previous years they came up short. Then last year they hell of a they ate a hell of an egg, and I don't even want to talk about it. But the way the season ended last year, I I, I don't know about you guys, but me as a, a Dodger fan, man, I was thoroughly pissed off and disgusted how that season uh, ended, and if I feel that way, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of the lot of the Dodger players and then and the manager David Roberts even said that the man he he had a very uneasy offseason. But anyway, like I said, you guys see the thumbnail, you see the title, I'm predicting 45 to 15 and a world championship. It's not gonna be a very long video, but um I am gonna be covering baseball. I am gonna be covering the Dodgers, maybe a little bit of the Angels. Uh I don't think the Angels are gonna be that good. But with this short, very short 60 game season this year, anything could happen. And one thing that was uh, pretty evident and something kicked off today with breaking news with the Dodgers, the Dodgers sent down their, you know, the ace number one prospect, uh, Gavin Lux. Uh, Gavin Lux was the favorite to be the rookie of the year. And lo and behold, he doesn't even make the roster on opening day. This is crazy, but this is further proof that this season is going to be a little bit different than uh, the rest of the seasons because with only playing 60 games, they don't have time to, uh, you know, let a, a young player get 100 at bats and get his feet wet and this, that, and the other. They, they, they got to hit the ground running because they, because if you get behind, you don't have a lot of time to make time up. So it appears with that move, uh, Gavin didn't have the best spring training or whatever you want to call it but still under normal circumstances you know that he would have definitely made the roster but with this being 60 games and uh kike was swinging the bat pretty good uh i guess they'd rather let him just go down to the minors and, and play every day and get some at bats i don't know but anyhow that's the big news for today let me before i get out of here let me uh let's let's just go over a couple of the main things let's go over the uh uh, the starting rotation now uh, Of course the big you not really surprised, but we all know that David Price is not going to be there We were kind of dependent on him to be there, but the, the Dodgers I think they're deep They're deep with the starters and again with it only being a 60 game season uh, the, the, the rotation is going to get jumbled um, And with how Dave likes to you know utilize his pitching staff uh, I think they're gonna have enough more than enough arms to uh, Competing and go ahead and win that National League West. Uh, who we got? We got, of course, we got Kershaw. Uh, Urias was announced as a starter. I think you have Wood, Stripling, and um, of course, uh, Bueller, uh, the the ace of the staff. Of the staff, as far as I'm concerned, Walker Bueller. Uh, I think it's going to be his year. Uh, like I said, this is 60 game season, so he won't be a 20 game winner. But I think he will be. I think. After his experience the last couple of seasons, that this year he's he's finally going to prove and show that he's the ace of the staff without a doubt. Now the Dodgers lineup, you know, you guys, we all know the Dodgers are loaded. It's just stupid with this this lineup. Uh, we got Betts, we got Muncie, we got JT, uh, we got the MVP, Belly. Uh, we got Jock back, so we'll have Jock uh, uh, probably out there. I don't know what, what he's going to play. Uh, Pollock's going to see some um, playing time. And I don't care who you put in <laughs> for catchers. It might be Smith or whoever. I don't know. It doesn't matter. And uh, Corey Seager. People forget about him, man. But if he comes back, you know, last year, you know, he wasn't, you know, he was coming back from the injury. You know how sometimes in baseball, man, it might take you the whole season to re recover from a, a season 
Uh, so I think I think Corey is ready to go. And people forget the Corey Seager, former rookie of the year, man. And uh, he's every bit of the player, uh, as far as I'm concerned, and is on his way to being. But he's every bit of the player as Belly. So that 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 lineup is loaded. It's ridiculous. And uh, that's why I think they just gonna. I think they just gonna kick everybody's ass this year. It's not even gonna be close. The 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 Yankees are gonna be good, but then I, they they got their issues they're dealing with. So you know, just like the, the Dodgers are missing David Price, the, the the Yankees have got their players that they're they're missing. So you know, it's gonna be interesting. But um, we're gonna be talking more baseball on LA Sports Live, not just basketball, but we'll talk some more baseball. And uh, when the NFL gets going, uh, that's off to a rocky start. We'll talk some, um, we'll talk some Chargers and some Rams. And of course, you guys know the Chargers and Rams are both going to be our high knock, hard, hard knocks this season. So that's going to be something else to tune in for. Anyway, this your boy AC LA Sports Live. Make sure comment, like, share, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Support your boy. Support your channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Later.